So welcome to part three. I've made a little bit more progress. Um, you can see that I've actually taken off the front face of this, uh, but it's still the same part. Um, and here is where I'm at so far. So you can see that at the moment this is all one solid block when in fact it needs to be carved out like this. But for now I'm just printing it as a test piece to see if everything actually sizes up correctly. So you see that I've got this side which I previously printed in part 2 um, and I've actually made a slight modification. You can see that here I've made a cutout which is similar to the one on here. So I've just made that modification. I don't think it's even that important to be honest because I just it's just where the rod goes but I've made it anyway. Um, and of course I've made this section here where the spring goes, which is this bit here. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, print it out and see how well it works. So uh, let's go over to the printer. So here's the finished part. It is a little bit rough um, because I rushed the print and uh, I didn't really clean up the supports or the raft or anything like that because this is only a test piece so it's not too important. You can see it's pretty similar. Um, like I mentioned I haven't yet hollowed out this area and this um, contour here isn't exact but uh, you know it's, it's pretty similar. So um, let's put it in here and see if it works. Okay, now I've got the spring and the rod, so we can test that out. Okay, let's get this in here. Just have to make sure everything lines up. It's a little bit tricky, but there we go. So that's now in like that. Now we have to get the spring in place. Okay, so that clips on there like that, you see? And then rests on there. <laughs> there you go. We can now, you know, I could put that on the car right now and I would be able to open the door. Of course it's not perfect because this is meant to be black and it's meant to have the face plate, uh, but it's good progress. So the idea is that when you open this bit here, it pushes down this, which pushes a rod and that unlocks your door or opens it. So you can see that it's working with the spring. Of course the spring has a lot of tension. And yeah, okay, <laughs> so far so good. So really the only thing to do now is to improve this a little bit because I would like it to follow that contour if possible although it's not too important because it's going to have a face plate on the front so you won't actually see under here anyway um, but it would be nice if it at least came close to following that that rounded contour there so yeah I just need to now put on the face plate and I think the face plate comes to about this point so you can see that it would cover this so it would come down a couple millimeters from what this is now and basically go like this so you put your hand in and then you can grip onto the plate um, onto the face plate and then pull it up so yeah so far so good stay tuned for part four